Campesino organizations in Guatemala called for demonstrations in 20 different states this Wednesday, demanding the resignation of President Otto Perez Molina. Now, Perez Molina has been tied to corruption cases involving the nation's customs services in recent months. More than 60,000 demonstrators took to the streets in the whole country, including health workers and students. At the same time, the Guatemalan Congress has suspended debates on modifications to the nation's electoral system as activists demand more accountability and transparency from the, the country's politicians and political parties. More now. For more now, we go to our correspondent, Gerardo Torres. The protests demanding the resignation of the Guatemalan President Otto Perez Molina have not reduced after three months in the streets. Thousands of protesters from different sectors of the Guatemalan society, especially organized citizens, campesinos and students, continue in the streets demanding the investigation of corruption cases that involve different public officials and that was the cause of the resignation of Vice President Roxana Valdetti. Protesters assure that this is not enough and they still demand the resignation of Otto Perez Molina. They also assure that they don't believe in the political parties that have the main options in the next presidential election in the country. They also assure that the movement will continue on growing and protesting until they find justice against those who robbed the Guatemalan state and until they find politicians that truly represent them. Gerardo Torres, Telesur, Central America.